Good morning. Good morning. Pastor Jim, welcome to Sherwood Baptist Church. And I just want to kind of go through the devotion this morning. One of the things that God put on my heart is when I was a young boy, I used to think about, you know, God, why me? A lot of the things that happened in my life, you know, were unexplained. Uh, a lot of the issues that I have with my family were unexplained. A lot of things that I didn't understand why they happened. So I kind of sat on my bed or sat, in my, sat up in my bed every night asking God, hey, why me? And I know a lot of people here are wanting that same thing. Some things that happen in your life, tragedies or, or divorce, or some things happen in your life that you kind of figure out why me. Well, God led me to a particular scripture in John chapter 9. And it says, uh, John chapter 9, verse 1 through 3, it says, As he passed by, he saw a man blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he would be born blind? Jesus answered, It was neither did that man or his parents that uh, sinned, was so that the work of God may be displayed in his life. Now, when I, look, when I looked at that verse and I kind of understood that verse, it says, So that the work of God may be displayed in his life. So when I look back over my life, all the things started to make sense. All the things, all the abuse that I went through, all the fights, all the drugs, all the gangs, and all that stuff started to make sense. It was so that it was not for Ken Devil. It was so that the work of God could be displayed in my life. You think about that. All the tragic things that you've gone through in your life, all the things that were unexplained, all the disease and tragedy, different things like that, it was so that the work of God could be done in your life. You're not here by happenstance this morning on the set of Courageous. You're here so that the work of God could her work of God can be done through your life so that people can hear the ministry of the gospel. Amen? Amen. 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 One of the other things that I also want to mention uh, is in Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no doubt in my mind it is not about Ken Bell. Not the least I own. It is not about me. It is all about Christ living through me to demonstrate his love. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's pray. God, we thank you for a wonderful day. We thank you for an opportunity, God, to share your gospel. God, we thank you for how you have given us a ministry through movies. God, I pray for safety and protection on the set today. God, I pray for that everyone is here, God, feels the presence of the Lord, God. And we're not just here for show or different things like that, God. But we're here to minister the gospel to a lost world. So, God, we thank you for this time, and we thank you for this opportunity to share today. Now, God, keep us all safe uh, and allow us to exhibit your Christ-like love. Uh, through all that are here. So, Father, these and all things we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Good morning.